show you how to disassemble a Gould's NP pump to replace a shaft seal and or impeller. Uh, first thing you want to use is a 5 millimeter Allen wrench for all your volute bolts. And the other tools you need is a 5 8 ratchet and a screwdriver to hold the back of the motor in the back back there. We'll get to that in a minute. But we're going to have to take all these out first. Now we're going to use this Allen wrench just to speed things up a little bit. And after you get all these off of here, this volute will come right off. And whether you have pipes on it or not really doesn't matter. You can just take this section right out and leave this connected on the unit. You don't have to take the whole entire pump out of the unit. It's, it's pretty much up to the mechanic that's working on it on how they want to go in. this off. This section here needs to come out for reassembly. So you just pry this out with a screwdriver. And just as a quick to show you right now before you can go any further on reassembly you need to put this on here, this ring on here which like I said I'll show you during reassembly also before this goes back on. When that comes off this is going to be inside of here, just so you know. That's for reassembly here. Now we need a 5 8 <coughs> wrench for the impeller, but we first have to take this cover off. This little plastic cover needs to come off so we can expose. Sometimes a smaller screwdriver is better. So we can expose the back of the motor shaft. Okay, and we're going to hold that with a screwdriver to loosen the impeller. So you hold that, and then you're going to take your 5 8 wrench and you're going to loosen this impeller. And that's it. There's a nut on here that's coming right off. You take this nut off because the shaft of the motor is threaded. Then you hold the impeller or the shaft of the motor again to take your impeller off and you just screw it off by hand. When you're putting it on, you screw it all the way down before you put the nut on, on reassembly. So I'm just going to take this off. Now after we get this off, we notice the difference of impellers. This is an old impeller. There's a new impeller. The old impeller does not need this ring. The new impeller, you have to use this ring during reassembly. It's the only difference between the old style and this new style. So just want to make sure everybody knows about that. As for getting the seal out, the easiest way is to just pry this up kind of back and forth from either side. And as you see, this is coming up right here in the middle. This is the rotating half of the seal. You just want to be careful you don't crack it in case you want to reuse it. But here's your rotating half. Green typically stands for Viton, you know, a higher temperature elastomer. And then the seal looks to be fine. There's no scoring or anything in it. Nothing wrong in here. Seems to be okay. Now to get this part out, you turn this over and you just simply push this out from the back side. Sometimes you can use you know, the back of a socket like this right here if it's, you know, it's the wrong diameter. The 
the spot fit. There, back of this socket seems to fit. And you just push this out. Sometimes it's a little stubborn. There it goes. And this is your stationary seat right here. So if I had a new shaft seal to put in here, which right now we're not going to put a new one in, there's nothing wrong with this. This is the first step you would do, is to put your new shaft seal in. You're going to put this part in here. Sometimes a little bit of silicon, like grease, like a little lube will work to help put it in. And we have some of that here. And as for, you know, you should put something on, on here to keep that from getting all messed up. But it's fine, it's like brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. But this is some of that lubrication. So you put some of this inside this seal right in here, this grease in here, so you can lube up inside of here. When you're going to put this back together on the shaft of the motor. Now we're gonna mount this and here, I'm going to take the, se the seal and just stick that right on there like that. Push it all the way down. It's all the way in. Then we're going to take our spring and we're going to put the spring on. This ring is going to be used with this impeller. This impeller, you don't need the ring. You just put it right on if you have the old style. The new style impeller, you have this spacer that just goes in here like that. And this screws right onto the shaft of the motor. And obviously as we're turning this, we're gonna have to hold the back of the motor. So we gotta set it back down, hold the back of the motor, and you just Screw this all the way down. You'll see the space getting smaller and smaller. And eventually this will go all the way down. There, and just give it a good, that's it, tan tight. That's all you have to do. Stand it back up. Put a little lock tight on there. I don't remember the number, the blue ones, but I always use the teeny little bit. You don't need a lot. It's not easy to get it apart if you put too much. And you just start your threads. This is where we're going to have to hold the back again to tighten this knot. Just hold this and a little crank. That's that. Stand this back up. And like I was saying before, when we took it apart, we're going to put this piece on first with this ring and then this can go on you know pretty just about any way you want you typically want that up you know somehow to let the air out you wouldn't want to put this pump together like that going in and coming out the air pocket it's not going to survive same with like this or like that you kind of want to be up in this area so we're putting it together like this. Then as for these five millimeter Allen bolts, I'm gonna turn these on here. I believe what was a 10 foot pounds maybe at most for torque. You don't need much. Tighten them in a uh, counterclockwise rotation. Just kind of, or not kind of, um, go back and forth. I'll just kind of go back and forth. And that's, all there really is to it. Did we put that O-ring in the O-ring between? Yeah. Okay. The O-ring was already, I didn't take the O-ring out. The O-ring was, was always, part of the casing. Then. Yeah, okay. it's already there. It doesn't come off when you're changing a shaft seal. You know, when you build a brand new pump, you'd have to put the O-ring on there. 
Otherwise, it's just outer, these. It's an O-ring that goes around here on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's the O-ring that we're talking about. That's not something that is usually anything. There's nothing wrong with those. You don't need a new one when you replace the, the, the pump seal no. or the shaft seal? You can reuse the original O-ring. Yes. Okay. Unless you see something wrong with it or it's broken or something, you shouldn't have any reason why you couldn't use it. You know, once you get all these guys started, you know, <clears throat> you don't need much. You just tighten these up by, you know, by hand, really. You don't really need a ratchet or anything. Just snug them up with your Allen wrench. You kind of go back and forth like that. You know, after I go back and forth, then I'll go all the way around one time around just to make sure. Now, do you have to uh, tighten them in a star pattern like? A star pattern is the word I was looking for. Yes. Because yes. that's actually in mentioned pattern. in the manual for. Tighten them in a this star pattern. Gold pump. Then you want to just go around and snug them up at the end. Okay. You know, they're already all tight. They're just, just snugging them up. You don't have to get crazy with it. It's an O-ring. It works really well. And that's, that's it. The only thing we have left to do is put this little plastic cover on the back, mm -hmm. which is, again, not a big deal. It's painted. It's got paint on it from our factory. And that's all there is to it. You can go put it back in service now. Thank you, Kenny. Game over.